Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Surviving the Fog. Today we're going to be looking at Amanda's map, the game also known as Gideon Meatpacking Plant. Now, if this is your first time playing Dead by Daylight, or maybe you just want to know how totems work, let me go over it for you. Every time a trial starts, the map will pick five random totem spawn locations out of a pool of all possible spawn types. Where they'll be at, you won't know until you find them. Uh, so every single time, for the most part, uh, the totem spawns will be in a different place every time you get into the game. So in this video, we're going to hopefully educate you on where all the totems will spawn. So next time you're playing Survivor, you'll knock out that Noed. Next time you're playing that killer, you might figure out where your ruin's going to be at so you can trap it. So without further ado, let's go into the game. All right, we're gonna start off at the exit gate on the upper floor. This one I've called the A-Team Van because this exit gate has a van with some nice swishes across it. Uh, this totem is you, pretty tucked away. If you know where it's at, it's pretty easy to find, but it's gonna be behind, more to the side of the van. So you're gonna have to go all the way to the gate, go around the van, and then come up where it's angled towards the balcony, and it'll be there right next to the passenger side rear tire. Moving right along the upstairs, we're gonna go to the upper corner. Now this one is usually denoted by some shelving units and a forklift in the middle. Uh, in the back corner of this room, there's some stack of cedar bricks and behind those cedar bricks right in the corner is going to be your totem so uh, make sure you check the back corner if you see these uh, pallet piles as we continue along the upstairs uh, we're going to take a look at what i've called the upstairs outer drop down this will be on the outer ring and it'll be it'll have a drop down in the middle of it usually there'll be a pallet there as well uh, if you're looking for the totem in this room. This one is usually going to be tucked away along the wall in the corner right behind this tall standing box. As we're moving along the upstairs along the outer wall we go to a tile I've labeled the outer wall palette. Uh, this one you can usually tell how it looks because it has the forklift, it has some shelving units, there's always going usually going to be a pallet and on the back of the wall there's going to be a table. Uh, now this totem is pretty easy to see. It's going to be in the back corner along the outer wall usually and not blocked off by anything. Now there is a second variation to the outer wall palette. This one, uh, just like the other one, is going to have the forklift. It's going to have the shelving units. Uh, however, it's not going to have the table along the back wall. Uh, however, the totem is going to be here along one of the sides, usually along the shelving unit or cage, and tucked between some tables and boxes. Most of you probably already know where this totem is. We're going to go to what I've called the upper corner staircase tile. This is the staircase that's in the corner that goes to a staircase that has a landing. Now, this totem, if uh, you don't know where it's at is kind of tucked away. It's along one of the back outer walls where these barrels are and usually a pallet and it's going to be right there to the side. Uh, again, tucked between the barrels right next to the pallet, so keep an eye out for that one. All right, continuing to the second exit gate along the upper floor, uh, we're going to take a look at this totem here. Now, this tile is, I've labeled the dumpster gate. But something you guys may not know is that this little ledge right here opens up to a window vault. Uh, something you might be able to use in your chases, but we're not here for window vaults, we're here for t totems. So this totem is between the two dumpsters along the outer wall, right at the crack where they meet. Should be easy to find. Continuing along the upper floor on the outside edge of Gideon, we're gonna go to the two lane pallet tile that is on the outer ring. Uh, this one you can tell has the two large lanes between them, usually with a pallet along the outer wall. And this totem is gonna be tucked behind some boxes, usually in front of the pallet. So this one's kind of hard to find sometimes. 
one of the most well-known tiles on the upper floor of Gideon Meatpacking Plant, I have labeled the laundry chute. It has the long, large staircase that drops down into a chute that brings you to the floor below. Now, this tile does have a totem spawn. It's gonna be right toward the entrance of the room. Uh, it's gonna be underneath the staircase, and it's gonna be tucked behind some of the water barrels there. Uh, so. If you're coming in the room, take a quick peek. You might find a totem. All right, so I'll take it back. This next tile is the most well-known tile. This is Amanda's Lab or Jigsaw's Lab. Uh, this one, you can easily tell it has the two pallets. It has the drop down into the bathroom. It has the staircase on the edge going up to a vaultable area. This tile has a lot going on. So if you've never seen this tile before, this is the lab on the upper floor. Uh, this totem is gonna be toward the back of the lab, right in front of the drop down area. And it's gonna be tucked behind a push cart uh, and just below this window vault here. So before you drop down to the bathroom, take a look and you might just see a totem hiding in that corner. Now along the outer edge of the upper floor, you'll notice some staircases. They look pretty similar. Now these tiles can have totems as well. This tile in particular, you're gonna see the pallet between the two boxes uh, and around the front of the staircase, not where the stairs go down, but the lip that goes over, there's gonna be a set of stacked boxes and a cart. This totem is gonna be, be between those boxes and the cart. Now we're gonna start looking at the inner tiles of the upper floor. This one is gonna be another staircase tile. Uh, this one is most discernibly noted for the boxes and the hook around it. Sometimes there's a pallet, sometimes there is not. However, there can also be a totem here. This totem is going to be kind of tucked away along the corner here. Um, pretty easy to spot, but you might pass by it in a chase. In another version of the inner staircase tile on the upper floor here, this one's a little more discernible by the longer loop that is there from the two-story shelving unit as well as the longer flat boxes and the barrel stacks that are next to it. This tile, this totem, is actually going to be right there next to the flat boxes and tucked next to the stacked barrels. All right, finishing up the upper floor tiles, we have the inner drop down tile. Now this one's gonna to be toward the inside of the map. It's gonna have the drop down that usually has a pallet on one side. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, there is also a totem in this tile. This totem spawns over in one of the corner, usually behind or in between some of the barrels. A little tucked away, but still shouldn't be too hard to miss. All right, that ends it for the upper floor tiles. Let's make our way to the lower floor of Gideon. We're gonna start in the corner staircase. Uh, this is a pretty well-known tile. Uh, the staircase is gonna be that L-shaped staircase that has the landing, and it has some safe pallets around the back. Now, as we're looking for the totem here, this totem is going to be toward the back of the tile, uh, between the pallet, right there tucked away in the corner uh, next to some pipes built into the wall. So if you see yourself at the staircase, give a quick check around back and you might just find that ruin. Now, as we move right along the lower floor on these outer tiles, there are two colored rooms. The first one that we're gonna look at here is the red room. There's also a blue room, which we'll get to in just a minute. The reason why we call this the red room tile is because in the middle of this tile is a big red room and it kind of gives off a red glow. Uh, you'll very much find it easy to spot because of the red wall as well as some dead bodies strewn about and one in particular in the center of the red room. Now this totem is next to the poor guy in the reverse bear trap that didn't find the key in time. On the downstairs outer corner, the laundry chute from the upper floor drops down into this room with some barrels, a very safe pallet, and you guessed it, a totem. In the back corner of this room, uh, behind usually some knocked over pallets or some barrels, there's gonna be a totem that's kinda hiding back there. Uh, so make sure if you drop down here, if you happen to be in this room, take a look and you might just find a totem. 
Now for every upper floor staircase, there is a lower floor tile for it. This outer staircase on the lower floor, uh, this one is also gonna have a totem. Uh, you'll notice this one because this tile usually has a pallet along the back behind the staircase from time to time. Sometimes it's to the side, but the totem is gonna be toward the front. It's gonna be near one of the angled cages that's kind of behind some barrels as well. Kind of hard to see sometimes. Now this next tile on the lower floor is has a couple different variations. This one we're gonna look at is the four column junk tile uh, that has a pallet. So you'll notice that there's four columns and next to each of these columns, there's gonna be some junk of some form, usually a pallet, some boxes, some cages, that kind of stuff. This is always gonna be on the outer edge. Uh, and this totem is going to be along the back wall uh, next to the cart. Uh, sometimes the pallet's there, sometimes it's not. But check behind that little pivot point of the cart. Now we get to the absolute most iconic tile of this entire map, made famous by the Saw movie. This is the bathroom tile. If you've never been in the bathroom, uh, it's going to be from the drop down from the lab. This totem is going to be in the shower next to the gen behind the broken down tile wall. Now another variation of the four columns outer tile uh, is going to be the table pallet tile. This one is again going to be in the outside ring of the lower floor. It's going to have the four columns. It's going to have some junk, but most notably it's going to have a table and it's going to have a pallet. Uh, this totem is usually, again like the last one, going to be along the back wall toward the inner side of the tile. Uh, but instead of next to a card, it's going to be next to a, a box that is put up long way. Now another variation of the tile that we just looked at, another one of the uh, lower outer four column tiles is going to be a similar variation to the one we just looked at. It's not really going to have the table. It's going to have the four columns, the pallet, the cage, the junk. But instead of next to the stood up box, this one is uh, going to be along the back wall next to one of the cages just behind the pallet. So take a quick look if you're kind of running around that way. Now a more common tile that you may know from other maps is the long wall pallet. This is going to spawn on the outer edge. Uh, it's going to be just like the other tiles from let's say McMillan or Coldwind Farm. It's going to have the pallet at one entrance, an open entrance, and then a long wall with a window. Now if you see this, there's a chance that a totem can spawn in here. Uh, this totem is going to be toward the inside middle of the tile. It's going to be usually next to the hook kind of tucked away in there so if you're checking it out it should be pretty apparent if there's a totem here now another variation but still very well known tile of the jungle gym can show the l wall t wall tile uh, you'll see these tiles on again stuff like mcmillan or cold wind and many other maps uh, you can tell it's the l wall t wall by the long wall with a window that has a short wall to form a t and a long wall with a window that has a short wall to form an L. Now this totem, unlike many of the other L wall T walls that spawn in the middle, this is gonna spawn on one of the outer corner little side walls, so keep an eye out for that one. Like we said before, there are two tiles that have rooms of certain colors, and the next one we're looking at is the blue room. Also known as the freezer room, uh, the room in the center is blue instead of red. It has uh, frozen meat and people inside and there's a nice arctic mist coming out from the center. Now this totem is going to be into the middle of the room, but it's going to be next to the radiator. I believe it's a radiator, or chiller, whatever you call it, next to the big piece of machine that's in the room. Uh, if it's lit, you should see it. If it's not lit, you might have a hard time finding it. This room is kind of dark. All right, now we leave the outer ring and move our way to the center tiles. This next one we're going to look at is another one of the jungle gyms, kind of. It's a long wall pallet, much like many of the other maps have this exact same uh, tile layout, but this totem is going to be toward the inside of this, to of this tile, uh, usually next to one of the walls behind some boxes. Uh, sometimes there's a single 
locker on the outside of this wall. As said before, with every downstairs, there must be an up, so the inner downstairs stairs tile. Uh, these on the inside are always going to have a long kind of L-shaped wall uh, to kind of block off the staircase uh, and usually have a pallet, sometimes, not always, um, along either the back of the staircase or along the front side. Now this variation with the barrels and the curve box has a totem that's going to be kind of hidden. Instead of going through the place where the pallet, go to the right. Uh, where the stack shelving units are and right around the corner you're gonna find the totem in this variation Now unlike the first variation of the downstairs inner stair tile the second variation of the downstairs inner stair tile uh, Is gonna have slightly different look. It's not gonna have the large shelving unit as soon as you come down it's gonna have the junk boxes and barrels for uh, a pallet to spawn but this totem is going to be mixed in uh, sometimes behind these boxes, behind the stairs. But usually it's going to be in the middle of the tile next to the pallet, tucked away behind the boxes. Now as we finish up the downstairs center tiles, we're going to go to what I've called the kill room. Why? Because it is massive. It is open. There's a drop down from the center. It has four ways. Every so often, one of the ways is blocked and there'll be a gen, so you only have three exits uh, and the killer can find you any way you go. But yes, there is not only a gen sometimes, but there is also a totem. This totem is going to be tucked away behind a pallet of cedar blocks and a large cage unit with stuff in it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this totem video of Gideon Meatpacking Plant, also known as The Game, also known as... Amanda or the pigs map of choice uh, I'm gonna end this one a little bit different for if you enjoyed this video Make sure you give a like if you want to see more make sure you subscribe and you'll know whenever we do some more surviving the fog videos or any other video uh, But I think I'll leave you with some interesting graphic glitches. So enjoy If you want to see this one for yourself It's gonna be on one of the upstairs outer tiles usually in front of one of the exit gates this is the random glowy light glitch. Sometimes there's a chest here, sometimes they're not. Uh, so you can just kind of see the lights there on the floor. It's pretty funny, check it out. This next one, as you're going up one of the inner staircases, you can just see the moon through the ceiling. Cause it's there. Moon through the ceiling.